Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. In the last episode, we did a lot of forging. <laughs> well, we arrived at Champa and we told everybody the fate of Briggs and what happened to him. And we got caught up with uh, Obaba, Briggs' gr uh, grandmother, and told her about Briggs' fate. And she opened up a forge using her ancient and cold tradition blacksmithing techniques. <laughs> uh, so we used up all the forgeable materials that we had. Um, I didn't really talk over that because a lot of it I had to re soft reset. I soft resetted for about an hour and 30 minutes just to get the stuff I wanted. But anyways, this is kind of how we are right now with items wise. Uh, Matthew has a Levantine sword, which was what you got from Mithril Silver. And he got a, a Hover Greave, which is a thing you can get from one of the Zol blocks. And the Hover Greaves, what it does is it boosts agility. And it's a really good weapon. Uh, Karis got a Zol Ring as well. I got I forged a Soul Ring. And she got a Verdant Sword, which is what you get from one of the, ver of the Soul blocks as well. So, I, I used a lot of my Zol stuff to get really cool weapons. Uh, the Verdant Sword's a really good sword. And for Tyrell, uh, we got rid of his Muramasa. <laughs> I had to go and uh, unequip it via a sanctuary, but we got it unequipped. And I gave him the Rune Blade. And I gave him a Zol Ring, because uh, I'll be honest with you, I'll, I need a lot of agility, especially late game. So that's why I'm getting the Zol Rings a lot. So that's kind of what I did there. Uh, Reef, we gave him the Thanos Mace. And I think that's pretty much it for that. Uh, Amity, he ended up getting the Masamune Sword that Matthew was holding. So I ended up getting giving him that. Uh, I think I gave him the Lucky Cap as well. I don't know if I showed that on the screen or not. Uh, Sabetta, we used the, one of the Mithrils to make a Mithril Claw, which is a very strong attack item it's like probably the i think it's even stronger than the uh one of the in-game items that they expect you to give Savetta. this thing is stronger than that so um the mithril claw is really cool so i like that that's why i gave it to her uh yolio we use that orcalcan or orcalcan to make his strongest weapon in the entire game the strongest weapon he can even get and that's the herculean X. And I know I can make the Excalibur sword with it. Uh, trust me, I know most first-time players will probably want the Excalibur more than uh, the Herculean Axe. But trust me on this, I hate saying it. I hate being that kind of player because I love the Excalibur sword from the original Golden Sun One or Golden Sun Two. Um, the Excalibur sword gets really outclassed very badly by other sword-type weapons. Which we won't know until a very late game. So I just decided, okay, I'll just go for the second best thing. So I gave the Herculean Axe to Iolio. Um, Himmy ended up getting the Kiki Chui Manji Sword. I cannot say this word for the longest time. Um, so I ended up giving her that, and I think that's pretty much it when it comes to item-wise. So we're pretty much really decked out for pretty much late game. This is pretty really cool that I got all this stuff really early. But now, in our first objective, we need to go to Tonfon. That's our next objective for today. And Tonfon is literally right around the corner from Champa. There's Tonfon right there. So it's it's really not that far from Champa. And I ran into a monster. Well, I guess I could show off these weapons. So it kind of be really cool to use them. The Leventine Sword's really strong. It mastered the critical move. That's pretty cool. It does a lot of damage, and I killed that monster in two hits. <laughs> so, that tells you something. But anyways, we're here in Tonfun. This is the only town, I do believe, where you actually dock your boat. In the town. So, Tonfun. This is the capital of Sana. We need to come here, and we need to talk to Emperor Unon, because actually Lady Uzumi from um, Yamada City told us we need to come here. So, that's actually kind of a good thing that we need to do. Uh, I'm gonna ignore all this. We're actually gonna leave Tom Fon for just a moment. <laughs> Main reason is there is a Ginny right outside the city, right over here, that's um, in the world map. So we're gonna go over here and kind of search around here. Yeah, there he is, the Mercury Ginny. So we're just gonna go ahead and fight him and get him already. 
I know, it's just like I got to the town and then all of a sudden I'm late. But we'll be able to get rid of this Jenny here. He's going to use Hail Prism, which is the strongest prism move. And that does a lot of damage. Uh, I missed with the Thanos Mace, so... Oh man, he, uh, he's, he's just putting up a resilient fight here. <laughs> he's fr Frost Sphere. Okay, come on, let's go ahead and finish him off here. There we go. Uh, finish off the Mercury Genie. But now this Mercury Genie has decided he's gonna join us now. <laughs> Anyways, Mercury Jenny Foam has joined you and is set to Matthew. Foam, this spirit of churning oceans is first met near Tonfun. Foam can create areas of tidal invisibility, or tidal instability, that slow enemies down. So he pretty much just slow, lowers their speed. And Rhyme's pretty cute. Or not Rhyme, um, Foam is pretty cute. Rhyme is another Mercury Jenny we're going to get later. I'm sorry for spoiling. <laughs> but uh, he's pretty cute. I like him. Uh, let's give him to Reef here. We'll trade for Ivy. And now Matthew has a full set of Earth Genie. I think he has Ivy and everything over here. Uh, I think that's pretty much it in the res re regards to that. I think we'll be alright. Alright, now let's head back to Tonfon because that was really the only reason why I even bothered coming here. Critical move! Leaving Keen Sword. Mad Zephyr! That's right, I got Mad Zephyr on the Verdant Sword. Okay. No one leveled up from that. I'm surprised I'm not getting a level up. It's like I, yeah, I usually do, so I guess I'm getting pretty high level now. Alright, let's head back to Tonfun. There's a, a bunch of items, and this is honestly the last major settlement, I want to say. Major settlement in the game. So, this is the last time we're going to be, like, looking for, like items and jars and stuff like that. Well, I mean, there's going to be a couple things that we look for. Our first item is right here. It's in this jar. Got a cure and water. I can kind of give that to, uh... Who has... Tyrell has them in stock, so we'll just go ahead and merge those together. And then we're going to head up here. These guys are going to be like, Oh, look at your Lemurian ship. That's pretty cool. And the Lemurians have helped us out. <laughs> Alright, so Tonfon is a really big city, and there's like a bunch of items that I need to pick up and kind of like grab. I think the next item is here in this jar in the end. There's an antidote. Um, and then there's a couple of here. Well, who do you have to say? Ko is no longer Emperor of Sana. Thank goodness, the old Emperor was a fiend and a warmonger. It sounds like the Emperor of Sana now is a very calm and collected emperor and it seems like it's really neat it's really good that he is look in this box right here there's an item got nine coins and we hear this guy snoring do you see this guy sleeping right here uh we're gonna be coming back to him and just just keep him in mind that he's sleeping there for a moment i uh, don't think you guys have anything useful to say with new terminologies and whatnot yeah they just tell you about the the Emperor and everything. But if you investigate the stove, you get a rice ration. So that's kind of cool. Alright, now if we come up here and look in this jar, there's a new item called a, a Ginseng. A Ginseng, actually, I think if I remember correctly, it it heals you by uh, 50 PP, so it's kind of a good use, use for uh, uh, PP res restorations. Now, if I can come over here, there's n more items for us to grab. If we look in this jar, we get an herb. <laughs> I know at this point in the game, herbs are kind of pointless, but eh, it's whatever. Um, in this house over here, there's a treasure chest, actually. I don't think you have anything useful to say. You're just going to talk about Lemuria. So, in the Lemurian ships. You just come up and climb up the stove, and you come over here and claim this prize here in this treasure chest. Inside's a mint, a mint. I'm gonna go ahead and use that real quick. Uh, mint, 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 mint. There it is. Who has the lowest agility? Eolio does. I knew that from a <laughs> I already knew based on the characters. <laughs> yeah, Eolio's pretty slow. But he's a tank, so kind of makes sense. Alright, so now I don't believe you have anything. You have a couple items in stock, but I'm gonna hold off from that until I find all these items here. 
come in this house. I do believe in the stove there's another item. Yeah, there it is. A pump dumpling. I don't think you have anything. You're just going to talk about Hemi. And you don't have anything interesting to say. Okay, cool. <laughs> I know that's not cool, I shouldn't say. Anyways, in this jar, there's some crystal powder. Which is a war, uh, battle item. And I do believe if I come over here... I kind of have to go up a little bit. And we're going to come over here on this side here. There is actually a item down here. And you'll see there's a genie right there. We're going to get him real quick. So, just hold on just a minute. I have too much to carry. I have to wait for the fairy boat, but it never comes. I'm sorry, sir. Hard to see hear that dude. And I think in this jar, is there something? No, in, in this dresser? No, nothing in the drawers. Uh, barrel? I know there's something in here. Yeah, there is. Money! 222 coins. That's kind of cool. And then finally, we're going to grab this other item here. I kind of want to take care of this because I got it all in my mind. I was like, I'm going to go and search for all the all the uh, <laughs> invisible items or like hidden items. I think it's in this house. Yeah, I think it's in this house. Oh yeah, that's right. It's in the dresser. There's a silver vest in here. So that's pretty much just cell bait at this point. But that's pretty much it. I don't believe all these guys have anything else to say besides a couple of her other guys and whatnot. I think there's a couple terminologies we can get. We're almost done with our encyclopedia. Um, we have only like three terms left we need to get. Okay, this guy has a terminology here. He says, rumors say there's a really valuable gem hidden in Lady Hinachow's room. I wonder how valuable. Let's see who Lady Hinachow is. I'm probably butchering that name. This son and royal is mother to Ryo Kao and Hao Ju. Besides having lost her husband to war, both of her children are missing. So this kind of forebodes that Ryo Kao and Hao Ju and Hao Zan ne uh, never came back. They never came back to to Sana, which is very concerning because we we asked them to leave Belinks when before the grave eclipse even happened. So that's who Lady, Lady in Hinachow is. Now there is a genie in the town real quick and we're gonna grab him real quick. In order to grab him, we need to come around on the corner and come up this way and I think jump on this roof here. Yeah. And we're gonna climb down this tree. And then jump on the box that, I, that had an item. Now Mr. Sleepyhead over here is having trouble Let's give him a good old wake-up slap. We're gonna cast slap on him. To make him say, Hey, wake up! <laughs> oh, 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 it's already time to get the fairy moving. <laughs> Finally remembered, oh, I have a job I need to do. <laughs> I have a job I need to do, guys. <laughs> And he's going to move the fairy, so let's go and actually come back up this way. And now the fairy's moved right here. We can actually jump on it and come over here and claim this genie. And he's going to join us without a fight. The Mars genie, Tinder, has joined you to set to Karis. Tinder, this indomitable fire spirit is encountered in Tonfunk. Tinder can restoke life, life's fire with per perfect reliability to an unconscious ally. So he pretty much revives people. So he's pretty cool. And I love his design. He looks really fierce. Looks like a phoenix. Yeah, I love him. He's really cool. Tinder's awesome. Alright. Let's give Tinder to Tyrell, actually. So, uh, Tinder, you're going here. And Karis is getting some moan. There we go. So now... As of right now, Matthew and Karis all have the max amount of Jenny they can actually hold on to. So, we're doing pretty good right now. So, we're almost done finding all the Jenny in the game. But that's pretty much it in, well, not pretty much, in the main town. We still have a couple other hidden items we need to get, but 
I'll get them here in a little bit. Uh, don't want to come down this way. There's nothing down here. Uh, before we go anywhere further, there's one last thing we want to do. There's a lady right here. She talks about it, and she doesn't seem like she's that important. She says, We of the Tonfon enjoy the light of the Lord's sun the year round, but in the western lands, the sunlight is gone. We find it quite eerie. This lady doesn't seem like she's any, any, anyone important, right? Well, let's mind read her real quick. Spirit Sense. My grandmother went to Kaocho just as everything started happening. I keep worrying about her. Do you guys remember a long time ago when we were in Kaocho? There was a gra grandmother that was asking us to deliver a package to her daughter in Sana. This is the lady that do I need to deliver that package to. So, holding on to this gift for this long in the game, this is what it's used for. So let's go ahead and give it to her. Matthew used the grandmother's gift. You met my grandmother? And you've got something for me? I... I thank you. A letter and a gift from Grandma. I feel bad for the lady. But if you try to leave right here, she'll stop you real quick. She says, oh, please don't go yet. Here, this is an heirloom that my family has kept for generations. She gave us a free side crystal. That's pretty cool and pretty nice of her. Please take it as a thanks for bringing this to me. Can I beg one more favor, though? If you pass through Koocho again in your travels, could you give this to my grandma? And with that, we have the grandchild's gift. Now we have to deliver this package over to the lady's grandma. She says, safe travels wherever you go. So now our next our next thing to do in this quest is to deliver this package over to the lady in Kuocho. Don't worry, it won't be as long and drawn out like the grandmother's gift. We're, we're actually I'm gonna actually do it at the end of the episode, so don't worry about it. But for right now, let's go on forward and talk to the Emperor of Sauna here. He says, Oh yes, the Lemurian captain told us to expect you. Please enter. Oh, Pyrrhus helped, uh, you know, came by beforehand and told us, to, uh, <laughs> told them that we were going to be coming here. I guess, um, well, that's, that's great. But if you come in here, uh, there's a couple rooms here that have a couple of hidden items. Like this jar right here has a sleep bomb. And I think the next room over, right over here. If you investigate the stove, there's another item here. Got the hard nut. So let's go ahead and use that real quick. I think Grief has it. There we go. Uh, who's got the weakest defense? Ooh, goodness. Everybody's pretty much on, on par with everything, buddy. Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to give it to Omti. I meant to give it to Saveta, but that's okay. That's all right. That, it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, now, there is another treasure chest I'd like to get before we go and talk to the Emperor. I know I'm just kind of, I'm kind of like looking for all this stuff, but trust me, you want to kind of go ahead and do it. If you come out on this side, there's a treasure chest over here, but the trees are kind of blocking our path here. But we want to cast growth on the divine here. And then we're gonna go and like uh, go around in order to get that treasure chest. But first and foremost, we actually need to go out on the other side because there is a character we need to meet. And I think it says our job is to sound the gong when enemies attack. If you ring just for fun, everybody gets mad. <laughs> You're really instigating me, dude. <laughs> As soon as you do that... The gong! The gong! And everybody starts fleeing in terror. 
Is it an attack? <laughs> says, what was that the gong? What is happening? And everybody f starts fleeing. Says, c -c 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 could it be an enemy attack? <laughs> there is, it actually kind of just, <laughs> you, you pretty much scare everybody buddy out of out of wits here. I will do my utmost to protect the lady hen in a chow, especially during these trying times. The gong sounded, signaling an enemy attack, and everybody's quiet now. Hmm. <laughs> you can't uh, talk to Lady Hinachow right now while doing this, but <laughs> it, I thought it was kind of a funny little thing to do. It's it's really terrible, but I think what it does, you can actually read this letter. It says, My dear Hinachow, at last I could say that my locals have submitted me to just one rule. I know your illness makes it hard, makes travel hard, but the children sh should see this place. Yours always Quan. Okay, so that's from her husband. Uh, sh Lady Hannah Chow actually has a terminology we need to get. So as soon as I leave this map, we're going to come right back and do this. We're going to cast Grip on this hole right here, and we're going to come all the way over this way. And then we can actually go around and get this treasure chest that we couldn't get before. Okay, as soon as we open this, there is a awesome bow in here, the dragon bow. I don't think it's as good as what I've got right now, but I'll check it out anyways. Uh, I kind of figured. The dragon bow really isn't as strong as my Vernon sword or Masamune, so it's gonna get sold, unfortunately. I mean, if you didn't do all the forging like I did the last episode, it might be, it's a really good weapon, it's just, unfortunately, I've got better stuff on right now. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, hop across these lily pads, I think this leads just leads over here. Yeah, everybody's freaking out, it's like, oh my gosh, the gong! The gong, the gong, the gong! Um, I think everything resets whenever you leave. But I'm gonna go check and make sure. I don't know why, I mean, I know why it's there, it's just for you to poke fun at it, but... Yeah, I think, I think everybody just... Okay, I'll have to leave the town, so give me just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, alright, I left the town and I came back. I know, I probably shouldn't have done that gong, I shouldn't have uh, slapped that gong, but... Uh, that's okay. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. I thought it was funny to do that. Actually... Oh, this is why they... okay. I'll have to do slap the gong again. That's why it's for there. Oh, I've never known that. He blocks the, he, he blocks this uh, dresser right here, and I think there might be something in there. I don't I've never done that before. That's that's why the gong thing exists. I was wondering why it did it was there. Anyways, talk to Lady Hinachow here. She says the others tell me that I must accept that Ryukyao and Haoju are dead. This I cannot do. If only my husband had not been slain, his Echo Gym would have found Haoju easily. Alright, so let's see what Echo Gym is. Echo Gems. These gems are only useful in pairs. Each taps into the holder's life force to emit light to communicate with the other stone. Okay, so they're kind of like, you know, just, you know, t uh, like walkie-talkies but with gemstones. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I do believe, if I remember correctly, I'm looking at my encyclopedia right now. Uh, if we look at the top right there, we only have one term left in the entire game left to decode in red. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. I'm actually going to try this gong thing. Let me try that. I, I mean, I should have thought about that, but this I, I just now realized that that's what it was used for. So let me go ahead and I'm going to slap the gong one more time. I'm going to slap it. And that's gonna cause everybody to freak out again. Everybody's like, "Oh my gosh, what's going on?" And then everybody starts re uh, fleeing away. That's what it was used for. I, I didn't know that that guy blocked the dresser, so now I can be able to a have access to it. Okay, I didn't know what that was used for. I always thought it was just there to have a funny little cutscene, but I do believe if we come up here and we actually look at it.
The Echo Gym. Oh. The Echo Gym is resonating. And the other one is that way. Oh, that's right! Oh my gosh! Okay. I just had a realization. I've never done this in any of my playthroughs. I've never done this. Okay. Uh, I'll explain it later here in a second. Let's go talk to the Emperor Unon first. But that is very important that we got that. I, that is very important we got that. And I'll explain it here in a little bit. Okay, that's why they do it. That's how the... the okay. I understand now. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go up, up here. And we're gonna go and talk to Emperor Unon. He's in his study right now. You wish to meet with Emperor Unon? Yes. Who is it? Pardon me, but are you not the Master Sage Kraden? I am most pleased to have you have come. Please enter. Thank you all for coming. You have heard much of the wisdom of Emperor Unon. It is great honor to meet you. And I, in turn, have heard much of the knowledge of the great scholar Creighton. The honor is entirely mine. May we assume, Your Majesty, that you already know of the cliffs across the continent? I heard legends of it from a Morgul storyteller once, but none could have prepared me for the reality. When Sana occupied Morgul, I visited my brother there for a time, for time and I learned much of its culture. As I understand it, we have whoever activated the Lunar Tower to blame for this catastrophe. We bear some of the responsibility, though the consequences are beyond even our wildest nightmares. Some of the responsibility? Well, it was the Tuperong who were really responsible. The Tuperong? As in the self-styled Zenith tribe, Tuperong? But the one who actually turned up, turned it on was the Sonnen boy named Ryo Kyao. Yeah, it was. That's right. He can only think about saving his sister, so we can't put too much blame on him. Ryukao and his sister. Oh, right. We just heard from that Ryukao and Haoju are somehow connected to the Sonnen royal family. Yeah, they're uh, Lady Hinachao's children. What is the matter, Your Majesty? Ryukao is my brother's son. So he's his nephew. Okay. So Haoju is my niece. Yes. But at least I now know that both were alive before the eclipse. I sent a ship to Morgul to rescue them once they had the news that they were there. And the ship? It has not returned. We were separated from them just before the eclipse. I hope they were able to avoid the monsters. I don't imagine there is any way of knowing. I've got a good feeling about it. I'm sure they made it. I want nothing more to see them alive again, but prayer seems to be the only recourse. In any case, as Emperor, I cannot be seen to show too much emotion, even over the loss of my own kin. But enough of my woes. May I be introduced to your companions? They are descendants of the famed Warriors of Vale. This is Matthew, son of Isaac. Ah, oh, the Warriors of Vale. If you please, Your Majesty, my name is Karis. I'm Tyrell. I'm called Reef, Your Majesty. I am not related to the Warriors of Vale, but please call me Amity. I'm not related either, 
As you can clearly see, I'm Savetta of the Fan Tribe. I'm just Yolio. <laughs> uh, the reason why Hemi doesn't introduce herself here is because you can come here before you get Hemi. And, well, she wouldn't be here in the cutscene if that was the okay, case. So that's why she didn't say her name. You of all, all honor me with your presence. But I must now I must know, Creighton, what brings you and your companions here? What do you see? Your Majesty, would you be so kind enough to let us see the items your army brought back from Orville? Huh. Oh wow. That was easy. <laughs> or your Majesty would. It was part of Emperor Ko's so-called hidden road by which he brought treasures into the country. I can think of no better use for them than to give those who fight them in the Eclipse. You would grant us treasures without even asking us why you want we want them? Are you not curious? I have looked at you and heard you speak. If you can bring this Eclipse to an end, no treasure is too dear. Wow, that was easy. Man, he is such a nice guy. I like him. <laughs> he just asked him and he just opens up the door and says, Here, you gotta just go ahead and have it. So we're actually gonna go ahead and open these up here. Our first treasure is the Psy Crystal, which is another one that's pretty neat. And here we got the Sun Lord's Ring. The Lord Sun's Ring. Uh, who has it, I think? Yeah, it boosts criticals. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, as of right now, I think I'm going to give it to Eolio. Have Eolio equip that. And inside this is the Umbra Gauntlet, our first of the Umbra gear that we're looking for. This is actually a uh, important item, and I need to give this to Sabetta because she's the only one that can actually equip these. So we're gonna have a, have her actually equip those. Okay, cool. Uh, war gloves. Can I give that to anybody? Okay, Amity could use them. There we go. Okay, cool. I don't think there's anything in this jar. It's just an empty pot. No, wait, there's something at the bottom. It's just somebody's gum. <laughs> I love that. That's pretty funny. All right. Now, if we come out here, he has something else to tell us, it looks like. Are you looking for that old map of Morgul? Yeah, actually, that's what we're looking for. Sadly, I gave the map to my brother some time ago. If anyone ha has it now, it would be his son, Ryukyao. Okay. So, our next objective is to find Ryukyao for that. And this is what I was talking of, I was actually surprised by. If you did exactly what I did, and went and get got the item out of there, the Echo Gym. The Echo Gym is actually a tracker to track Rio Cow. That I completely didn't realize that until just now. You can do that. That's how you're gonna find them. If you knew where the location was, it really serves no purpose, but in the same sense, this is helpful for first-time players. So, grab the Echo Gym, and if you look at the map right now, I'm gonna look. At, I'm gonna show you my top screen. There's like a little like Echo effect going off of Matthew's head at the top there. That is the location. That's like showing him us where the location is where he is. So he's more up up towards the on the upper hand portion of the map. There we have to keep finding him. He's He's very up north of, of uh, the world map. So we're going to be looking for him here in the next episode. But before I go, I got a couple things I need to sell. So let me go do that real quick. Uh, let's sell... Uh, what else do I have that I can sell? I guess I could sell that... Well, I don't need that rice rash. Um... Tyrell has a couple things I could probably sell. The plum dumpling I don't need. Uh, the crystal powder I don't need. Uh, ginseng I can keep. Uh, let's sell the sleep bomb here. 
Ooh, that you can sell the Echo Gem here. I don't want to do that. Let's sell the Dragon Bow. And Silver Vest. Don't need those. Uh, let's sell the Bone Armlet. We don't need that no more. And I think that's it. I think that everybody's fine now. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, wait. Do you have anything in the artifact section now that I can have? Uh, I don't think so. I, I have pretty good armor and stuff, so I don't... Really, I don't think I need any more stuff. I'm just gonna check just in case. Ooh, the magical cast sock. I can sell. I can put that on Hemi here. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna quit that. And I'm gonna sell the blessed robe. There we go. Um, I don't think I have anything else I can be of you. Well, wait, actually, hold on. Silver Greave. Okay, cool. I'm gonna give that to Tyrell, actually, because I'd like to put it on Matthew, but I like the agility boost on him. So we're gonna have him equip that. And the Knight's Grieve, I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna put it on Eolio real quick. Let's do that real quick. I'm gonna give that to Eolio. Give him, give him that and get rid of his safety boots. He don't need those safety boots no more. Okay, Eolio don't need those safety boots. There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, so that is what the Echo Gym does, though, but it pretty much tracks where Rio Cal and Haoju are. So, if you don't know where he is on the map, on the world map, that's how you're gonna find it. But let's get on the ship and let's go. Uh, Matthew, is it time to go? Yes, it is. Very well, let's get underway. Sorry to bother you, Crane, but something has been troubling me. Oh, what is it? Why didn't Noel come with you in Belix? That's actually a good question. His sister didn't come with him, with Crane, and she was with him when we first met him back in uh, uh, the back earlier in the game. I was wondering what you'd get around to asking me that. With everything that happened and all the peril and whatnot, of course, she slipped your mind. <laughs> I'm ashamed, though. She is my sister. Well, I suspect she's a touch distracted herself, but by love rather than peril. Noelle is in love? With whom? Captain Pierce. Isn't Noel like 12? 13? Maybe 14? I'm going to jail! Peers of the Warriors of Vale? When Peers arrived to ferry us, she seemed especially vibrant, a glow even. When I disembarked, she simply told me, I'm going with Peers! Piers is a powerful adept, so she'll have a fine tutor, but they just sailed off together? Piers is one of the most capable sailors in the world. I'm sure no harm will befall her. I had no idea, but I'm glad she didn't get tangled up in all this. She was always the lucky one. Hmm, I wonder if you won't, if you won't eventually think the opposite. Why? Where are they sailing to? If we stand here reflecting on everyone's one of our worries, we'll never leave. Onward! Man, he just put it to rest. I would want to know. I'm like, no, Creighton. You tell me right now what's going on. <laughs> oh, anyways. That, that was it for Ton Fawn. Now, if you look on the world map here, that's where like you see the radio waves coming out of Matthew's head. That tells you the dire the general direction where Ryokao's ship is, and that's how you're gonna find him. That's how you'll find him in, the, in your first playthrough. I completely forgot about these items existing, and well, <laughs> I just know where he's at. So, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're actually gonna make a quick pit stop down at Kuocho, down at the Ejai um, region. So I'm actually gonna cut until we get back to Kuocho. 
so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we're back here in the EJ region, I just parked over by, uh, a youth -A. So now we're gonna make the long trek back to... Koocho. If you guys remember, Koocho was kind of, uh, <laughs> it... The thing is with Koocho and the Eclipse, it's kind of barren. I'm being perfectly honest, there's nobody there no more. Because everybody died. <laughs> I told you the game kind of gets a little grim towards the end game. Like, it, it was pretty happy-go-lucky for the most part of the game, and now when the eclipse happened, everybody's dying. Everybody's getting attacked by these evil monsters. I got Centaurian. Centaurian's a cool move, by the way. But, but yeah, I'll just... Everybody's dying, so let's head back to Koocho and find the grandmother. Koocho is just in shambles. There's nobody here. But we can try to find that grandmother. I think it's in this house, if I remember correctly. No, not this house. I think it's the other one. Yeah. So the remains of some unfortunate soul. Uh, let's talk to him. Let's let's just see what they guys say. King Guo would lead an army, but not a country, I guess. Wish I'd known that a little earlier. Let's remind read this lady here. This is the grandmother that, unfortunately, we did that side quest for. Uh, I feel really bad about this. This is this is really sad how this ended up. Poor grandmother got slain by monsters. Oh, what a terrible sorrow. Never had, never to have heard from my grandchild again. Well, we got something for you. Here. Oh, could that be a letter from my granddaughter? Who said that? Oh, it's a ghost! Oh, it's like a ray of sunshine in all this gloom. What a letter! My dear old woman, you sent love has your sent love has brought us to us love in return. We can finally rest in peace, my dear. Peace at last. And they ascend. If you look at the gift here, it says, Hi, Grandma, how are things? I'm fine, but I miss you. Well, until next time. P.S. I've included a little reward for those hardworking warriors. They deserve it. Okay, bye now. This is your reward for doing this side quest. You get the ninja sandals. Which is a really cool foot footgear item. Uh, the ninja sandals. Uh, boost defense and criticals. I'm actually going to equip those to Karis here. The ninja sandals are a really good item, and that's why it's worth doing this side quest, even though it was started from the beginning of the game to, like, the very end of the game. So, be sure to grab the grandmother's gift when you first come here to Koocho, and keep it with you, because the reward's actually really good, so that's actually what it is for that. Now... As you can see, there's poor souls all over Koocho. Like, Koocho got it hit hard. Like, they, they, I guess you could call it karma. With the way it says, I had my whole life still ahead of me. That's so sad. Um, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't think the doors are even open. The door's firmly shut. Yeah, you can't even go and visit the Emperor anymore. I don't know if the Emperor's even alive at this point. He says, I saved all the children. I'm a hero. They'll always remember me now. Man. But yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about Koocho. We're actually going to be coming back to Koocho one more time before this is all said and over. There's actually an item that we can get here, get there in order to access this optional dungeon. But I'm going to wait until I do that episode. So that way I can do the steps in all in one episode. So That's pretty much it. 
for right now. I think I'm going to end this episode because we did a lot in this episode. Now that we have the Echo Gym, we can actually go and find Rio Cow, Haoju, Hao Zan, and see where, where they ended up. And that's actually what we're going to do in the next episode. The next episode of Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn, we're going to be heading and following the Echo Gym's signal to find their location. So with that, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Uh, before I end the episode, I'm actually going to go and move my character over to Ton Fawn between now and then. So that way I don't have to show the backtracking. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode.